Hello everybody and welcome to another Hero video. Um, this one is going to be a bit different to the others but I'm going to share what I saw um, the other day. I'm going to share, I'm going to share it with you. Um, you know, sometimes when we're going on with God, the enemy comes to make us fearful, to um, destroy us. Um, but with God, God can protect us from things and that. I've got both of my fans on. It's very. It's been a very hot week. Um, definitely, you know, it's nice to have some great summer weather. On Monday, it's Friday now. This past Monday, I um, went into somebody's garden, um, and. I saw some. I saw something in the corner of the garden where the privet was, and at first I thought it was, you know, a person who maybe lived at the house. So, you know, I put, I put my hand up like that, say hi, kind of thing. Um, and I walked a bit further. So I was going to the letterbox and had another look and this thing looked, looked like a statue it was giving me a very evil look staring complete with, with you know with the eyes anyway I had shivers going down my spine and um, I didn't have another look um, and at first I thought what on earth was that person doing you know being in the the, the the thing what I saw was all grey coloured. Um, had a hat on, um, like a it was a, like a looked like a pirate hat or something. Um, but everything was grey, and there were quite a few coats on. And I'm thinking to myself after when I walked out of the garden. Um, what, what on earth was that person doing, you know, um, I had too many coats on and then I thought it was a statue, because it did look like a st statue, um, you know, the colour and everything. And then um, I did think if it was a person then were they going to a fancy dress or something, or oh, I don't know, but all in grey and it looked really tall as well figure looked taller than me um, and then I began to think perhaps it wasn't a person and perhaps it wasn't a statue but a demon a demon spirit and it made me so frightened and fearful and I had to ask God for protection um, I'm part of a community group so I put a message on the community group um, because obviously it's good to share your thoughts and that and stuff and share what 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 you've seen as well you know so my thought was that I saw a demon spirit um, you know I, um, to the to the non-believers a ghost is a, a spirit that somebody has already died but come back but us Christians don't actually believe in the terminology of the ghost but like I said to many people it may have been a ghost to many people but for me I believe what I saw in fact if it was a statue it was I don't believe it was a statue I don't believe it was a person I believe I saw something demonic um, 
on my way home that day I was inches away in having a terrible car crash um, the guy decided that it was a crossroads junction the guy decided with traffic lights and the guy decided that he could turn right even though his traffic light was on green but he should have waited for the traffic that the oncoming traffic was clear for him to turn round you often get that sign um, on dual carriageways if you're turning around it will say if drivers that are turning right make sure um, it's clear for you to turn around do, do you know what I mean and I had to brake really sharp my stuff on the seats went flying down into the footwell um, and if I sneezed or something at the time I'd have been a may have been a goner he had a it looked like he had a 4 before or maybe a pickup truck or something like that it happened so fast so I didn't fully take notice of the vehicle but I didn't have to anyway because it was a near miss um, I put my brake on really sharp I pipped him he's mouth enough in the vehicle and that but what I'm saying is is that could it have been that thing were waiting to kill me because I'm going on with God I'm doing these videos I'm getting strengthened and energised by the word of God the Bible and you know I told my mum and she said that some that thing didn't want you to live and um, probably gonna kill you but I pray to God for protection Lord God protect my day um, you know after when I saw that but I remember going to work as well and I'm sure I pray to God um, I pray for a great day Lord or oh, nearly every time I do now and again I don't though I'm not 100% sure about if, if I prayed in the morning but I'll tell you what, when I, when I saw that thing whatever it was, I did pray um, so, who knows I mean, you don't know what those people are messing with if, if, if they're into some sort of occult um you don't know if they're doubling in something or I mean why why would that thing appear there do you know what I mean um, it's quite hard to describe it although it looked it looked human when I first saw it but it was all grey coloured it had a hat on and it looked like it had quite a lot of jackets on and obviously when I got out of the gun I thought oh, it's a, such a hot day why on earth is that person wearing all those things but um, I thought, statue, it had to be a statue, and then I thought, no, it was just staring at me. So evil. I was actually thinking of going back in the garden, getting my mobile, because I left my mobile in the car, getting my mobile and taking a few pictures. But I thought, no. Um, I did ask a friend, and he said, I wouldn't think about what you saw too much, but rely on God. Um, and, and you know look, look, look to God and that now the enemy does make us fearful and um, if it was a demon spirit which I think it was that's probably the, that is the second time in my life that I've seen something you know when I was a kid that time when I saw a ghost it's on my um, channel if you type it in another you know when I saw a ghost um, but obviously it's a evil spirit or a demon um, but the obviously if you say ghost then other people think oh right it's somebody that's come back to life kind of thing um, like I've just mentioned so it was very very scary um, to see very very scary indeed um, it, it could have messed my day up completely um, it was on my mind somebody did say try not to think about it but it was hard 
not not to think about it, but I went to the car. I got I got the Bible on me on my mobile, um, and uh, my um, I began to listen to the Bible, and I felt a lot happier in myself. Um, you know, I, felt, I did feel a lot better. I mean, there is power in the Word of God, my friends, and um, I. I'll, I want to encourage everybody who's watching to listen to the Word of God, whether it's audio or if you want to read it, then read. There are no excuses in 2018 not to read the Bible. There's websites. It used to be, well it still is I believe, the um, best selling book ever. That's the King James Version. Um, in all the world, um, it's always good to be plugged into the Word of God. But I just thought of sharing my experience with you all and see what you think because it was a bad experience. But I don't know if it was related to that near crash, I'm not sure. Um, the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. Doesn't say God, God God does that, does it in the Bible? The enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. And Satan goes into a lion seeking who to devour. That's in the Bible as well. We need to put on the full armour of God, my friends. Um, sometimes it's hard you know um, what would have happened if that thing spoke or whatever or if I decided to walk up to it because I, I nearly did and I thought oh shall I walk up to the person I, well obviously I thought it was a person um, it wasn't extremely far away I would probably say about maybe 10 metres away five ten meters away something like that um, but why did I why did God allow me to show to, to see it um, I don't know why did it appear to me um, I don't know and it's a good job, I know God, because, well, I believe in God and that, don't I? Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. But what would have happened if I didn't? I'm not sure if that thing would have appeared to me in the first place, because I wouldn't have been doing a work for God. I'm doing a work for God now, so the enemy is going to um, switch up the heat and try its best to take me down. Um, it could have been Satan in disguise. Um, who knows? But um, by the power of the blood of Jesus, Lord God, I come against that thing, what I saw, that you, Lord God, would destroy that, that thing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Um, and Lord God, I pray that why did I see it? Why? Why? Lord God, give me a sign or whatever, Lord. But I thank you, Lord Jesus, that because of your protection, I did not crash into that vehicle. And it was so close, probably the closest encounter, uh, the, clo the closest kind of near crush of art. Um, but my brakes worked, so that's good, isn't it, fans? But yeah, I believe, I don't believe God allowed, well I don't know, I mean, that thing came from the enemy, and um, you know, I'm a Christian, so, but I was, I was scared of it, I was very fearful of it, but I still thought, I'm going to go back and check it out, see if it's still there or what, or, um, I didn't think I didn't think of it at the time, but I got 
cold shivers going down my spine. Anyway, it's best to concentrate on God and Jesus because uh, God has got plans for us all, my friends. But um, it's um, yeah, I don't make anything up. Um, it was real. Um, Satan is a liar and a deceiver um, and he tries to take people have got away I believe and sometimes he succeeds when our minds are off God or uh, whatever and you know um, in fact, if I didn't see that thing, I might not have said to God, protect my Lord. I believe God showed me in a vision, um, well it wasn't a vision, it was in the real life to be honest. But I believe that God allowed me to witness something with my own eyes in reality, in which case was either a demon or an evil spirit. I'm not sure if there's a full difference. But um, they're from the devil, anyway. Um, or as non-believers who might be tuning in, probably think, oh, it's just a ghost or something. Um, it was real and it appeared, and there is there'll be all sorts around. But I believe that thing could be something which tried to take me out of the, out of planet Earth. Um, there's evil spirits about and we need to always ask God for protection it's hard it might be it is hard sometimes to keep going on with God but once we do great things are in store for us ladies and gentlemen and um, God's got mighty things for me do you know I'm reading the Bible something great is going to happen once I fully complete it. Do you know that? Um, I'm going through it on my audio. Once, this is really strong and powerful, once I go through the whole of the Bible, something great is going to come to me. Anyway, God bless. Bye. See ya.